Hello everyone. Today we will do a taste comparison between these two flavors. The old version of Baller's Blend, the Dub Edition, and the new Punch Monster version. This is the old version of Baller's Blend, which was released in 2012, along with four, three other flavors, Cube Lemon, Zero Ultra, and Mad Dog, the redesign. This was originally supposed to be Black Forest Punch Monster, and they changed it to Baller's Blend at the last minute. I guess because Baller's Blend more sporty. They also had another name for this, which was supposed to be Player's Punch, but it's Baller's Blend. So this is the old version of the cam. Now I hear they taste different, even though they've been sold together. This did this never went to Big Lots because technically it was never discontinued. Even though it's com it's basically it's, it's almost the same thing, but it's still different. Obviously different from each other. I was expecting this to be discontinued. So it's got a nice design here. Some of the old characteristics of the original dub edition design. Not the 32 ounce can, the 16 ounce can. Mad Dog looks exactly the same except it's purple for the old design. Here's your description. A yeah, high performance feel because it's so much sugar. Look how much sugar this thing has. 50 grams of sugar in the entire can. It's not as much as um, Mad Dog had 54, but it's still a lot. Not something that you should be drinking every single day. Yeah, I typically drink Monster every day. I know it's kind of... I gotta lay off of it a little bit. I need it every morning. I'm kind of gonna rely on it every morning now. So I just won't wake up. Typical 160 milligrams of caffeine. This is obviously a new version. I'm still yet to find the Mad Dog new version. I, I mean Mad Dog like this, but it says energy drink on the side. Just have energy supplement. This I have Mad Dog now. Okay. So despite my original plans, I'm going to open the new one first. So let's give it a little look too. Try the change plan to the last minute because I still haven't tried this yet. And if I drink the old one first, it might kind of change my opinion on the flavor. Same exact description. Um, basically the same thing actually. Same ingredients and everything, except it has that new looking design, which is more classy and everything. So it looks, it looks, fits more for like I guess the workout or something. It doesn't fit the original dub edition design. It's actually pretty cool though. Okay, so despite original plans, let's go open this one first. I like fruit punch. Bread to it too. Okay. Take a sip. From well, what I remember from the old version, this is a little bit different. It still tastes like that typical fruit punch, but they've done something to it. They made it a little bit different. I guess a little more uh, lighter, sweeter. I mean, I really like the old Baller's Blend, but this one is a little bit different. Now I'm curious. I really want to try the old one again. As I said, it's basically a fruit punch monster. A little bit lighter than I remember. Okay, let's try the old one. I shouldn't have top empty that. It's, these cans are now rare. Same color. Basically the same exact color. Same cherry red. Also smells like fruit punch. Right now I'm having a hard time distinguishing the difference, but there is a difference here. The old Baller's Blend is a little bit, I guess you can call it thicker, even though it, that's not the correct term for it. It's not as light and crisp as the new Baller's Blend, but it's still really good. As a matter of fact, the old Baller's Blend has a little bit of a nasty aftertaste, and the new one doesn't. They actually removed that aftertaste and made it a little more refreshing. It's 
So yeah, these flavors are almost identical, really. It's kind of surprising to me because when I did the taste comparison between the old and new Mad Dog, they were very different. The, um, uh, if you can go watch my review, I'll give it a little summary. The old Mad Dog tastes like pomegranate, um, grape, apple, uh, all these other like flavors. It was kind of tart. The new one tasted like straight up just a grape punch. There was no none of that original Dub Edition taste to it. This is almost identical to each other, probably because Bellers Blend was not part of the original Dub Edition, and Dub Edition was not even supposed to be a series. It was just supposed to be one flavor, Dub Edition. And they decided to make a Fruit Punch Monster and then make it part of the Dub Edition. So I don't know if they're going to extend the Dub Edition uh, line, the now called the Punch Monster line. You can see Punch, the new design. The old one's a little bit more tart, actually. Like strawberry, cherry in there. So now let's go mix them up. My favorite part of the, the taste comparison reviews. I love mixing up two flavors, even if they're almost the same. It's just fun. Okay, let's go take a sip. Kind of as expected. It <laughs> tastes the same. Really, nothing much different here. I know I kind of spaced out this review a little, but I didn't know what to expect of the new Ballers one because I'd never tried it before. And not to my surprise, it's almost the same as the old one, really. So let's go take a, look, a few other details about these cans. So as I already said, the old Ballers Bun came out in late 2012, November 2012, I think right after Sandy actually, and because of Sandy, this was delayed. Now, I think this was released the same time Mix got discontinued, because Mad Dog was supposed to replace Mixed. That was a really stupid idea, because now everyone wants Mixed. As a matter of fact, the latest Mixed can on eBay went to $35. Uh, I, think that, I think that means Monsters should bring back Mixed, even if it's a new Juice Monster design. Just bring it back. People want it. People really want mixed. Hope that message gets to them, but this is a bottle of review, not a mixed review. So as I said, this is the old um, bottle of one can. It still says Dub Edition on top. Has that in script Baller's blend, which actually kind of threw off the can a little, because when I first saw this can in 2012, I thought it was an old can that I just never saw before. The design did not look new at all. This M badge is kind of similar to Import. I don't know if they took that from Import or vice versa. I'm not sure which came first, the original Dub Edition or Import. I'm pretty sure the original Dub Edition in the 18.6 can came first. I'm not too sure about that, though, because I don't know how old Import is. So the original Dub Edition came out in 2009. Re-released in 2012. Now 2014, they came out with this. Hold on a second, was that 2014? Oh no, I think 2013 actually. Wait a minute, because the design is uh, May 2014, but... Oh no, it's 2013, right, because I have a can from December 2013. The SKU is from December 2013, because they changed the top of the can. As you can see, Baller's Blend, but it used to say um, ginseng, then L-carnitine and B vitamins and all that other stuff. They changed the design on top, even though the formula is still exactly the same, so... I don't know what happened with ginseng. They've been changing can designs recently, removing jinxing from the top. Here's a quick fact. The top of the can here, the font here, is the same as the new iced tea design. People don't realize that. Same font. So there you go, there's your taste comparison between the old and new Ballers blend. I forgot my facts straight here. So, quick overview, they're almost the same exact flavor, really. Nothing, it's Nothing really different here. Like I said, the new Punch Monster is just a little bit more crisp and refreshing than the old one, but it's still a very good flavor. The biggest downside to this drink is that it has so much sugar in the drink, and that's why I don't drink it often, because it's just so much sugar that saturates the entire drink. I bet it's like, I bet it's like this much sugar in the can. It's ridiculous. There's just way too much sugar in here. And I know if they make a sugar-free or a less sugar version of this, it won't taste the same. So that's, that's what makes Dub Edition... Dub edition because as they say right in the description 
Baller's been his high performance fuel. So I guess you're trying to market to people who are stronger, I guess, more up there. I, 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 don't, I don't know exactly how that works. That's my review for Baller's Blend. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for future reviews, and thanks for watching. Spoiler.